April 19, 2021. Beloved, I have spent a night in prayer before the Eternal asking for wisdom and direction for this hour that is coming of His solemn days, and these ten days that are in progress, days of preparation before the feasts of the Eternal. He has let me see how the Holy Spirit works in the minds that submit to Him and tells them the why of what some ask themselves, because they don't know. I poured out my heart before the Eternal, for help and direction, when He did not wait and told me, everyone who claims to be my people and is attentive to the Jewish nation, as their rule of faith and as their guide in my festivities, will fall and leave my ranks never to return. Because those gave up against the Eternal, and those who follow them will likewise give up. All those who have already celebrated my Passover feast according to them, this is null before me, either due to ignorance or rebellion. These must acknowledge their error before me and, with those who partook of the emblems, turn to me and examine their mind and heart. And I will scrutinize them and see if they are worthy before me. And, if they were so, I will accept them in this, my real solemn feast that is about to arrive before you. Also, Beloved, I was led to know that the Eternal has ruled that those who are still in the cities will celebrate this upcoming Passover and unleavened feast as a family, in their homes, moreover, those who already live in the mountains can celebrate it in a group or by camp. Also I was let known that a lot of clamor has gone up to him for this, that's the reason he has given his answer and his verdict. Also, the Eternal continued saying, I have given my word to measure this simple and vital time, and it has not been listened to. For this reason, the rebellion within those who claim to be my people, will lead them by wrong paths where despair and nonconformity are at the door, because they departed from my sayings and the truth fled from them. This is how you will measure my time, he continued saying, as I stipulated, as it had already been declared, as I let you know before you had knowledge of it. He told me, spring asterisk equinox. Then the next coming new moon, this, gives the beginning of my calendar. And, fourteen days later, my Passover and unleavened festivities. Like this, even scattered, none will err in this as it has been in this time. Seek me and you will live, if you seek me with all your heart. These were the words I received from the Eternal. Now, beloved, I want to tell you a testimony. About two weeks ago a brother spoke to my husband on the phone. The brother, because of problems he had in his cell phone unit he could not contact on Telegram, he was worried because of the Passover and unleavened festivities, this spring festivity of the Eternal. He was able to contact my husband through another person, and he commented him how worried he was because he was afraid he would miss the Passover instructions. While he was having this concern, he commented to my husband that he reasoned, he thought of something, and said, oh. But it is after the vernal equinox and the next new moon. After this fourteen days are counted, and that's Passover. So, it's not yet. So he, reasoning this out, told my husband that he stayed tranquil. When they finished talking, my husband commented to me, I have never heard that in my life. So I went before the Eternal for counsel, regarding that which I had never heard of. There, the Eternal answered me. He told me, look for the spring equinoxes, go to the calendars that Doru made which I chose for this purpose, and see what I will show you. So I quickly did it. There I was able to see it in every year, I could see the vernal equinox. Then, the next new moon, which marks the beginning of the year in the Eternal's calendar and, fourteen days after this, the Eternal's festival begins. There was no miscalculation. It was tremendous for me to see, this same sequence, from 2020 to 2023. In the calendars that were passed after Brother Doru finished this work, which cost a lot, but it has been approved by the Eternal, and now even more, verified by the Eternal. So last night, texting with Brother Doru, I told him what the Eternal had led me to discover, and to my surprise, he sent me a quote from the spirit of prophecy that I want to share with you. It is found in the Great Controversy in English, on page 681. 4. There I am going to read the part that has to do with what I am commenting on, it says there, in the past, the year did not begin in the middle of winter as it does now, but on the first new moon after the equinox. Anciently the year did not commence in midwinter, as now, but at the first new moon after the vernal equinox. The great controversy, 
version 1888. The Eternal had already let us know this through his servant, Ellen G. White. It is tremendous, beloved brothers. When the Lord says, My people erred for lack of knowledge, my people perished for lack of knowledge, it is not because it was not there but because it is there embodied, but we do not inquire, we do not search. I have heard, I have read the great controversy, and, L. I had never come across this. But there it is embodied, in the book in English. So the question is, when was the vernal equinox now, in 2021? Everyone can do a search there, in Google. There it appears, March 20, 2021, it gives you until the exact hour after the date. And, when, after this, was the new moon, which marks the first day of the first month, in the eternal calendar? There we can verify it according to the calendar that has been passed through the groups. So, 14 days after this, which is what we are now approaching, after finishing the 10 days of preparation, it is the correct day of the eternal Passover and unleavened feast. Having said this, beloved brothers, all Jewish taboos are dethroned, which should not be our rule of faith, but our faith should be centered in Christ Jesus, the one who is our creator, sustainer, and redeemer. I invite you to analyze it for yourselves and verify, each one, the true path of our great, powerful, and omniscient God. Let us remember that the enemy was going to try to change the times and the law, and his eagerness is incessant. But nothing can surpass the wonderful and excellent power of our loving and good God. To him be the honor forever and ever, Amen. I pray for each one of you and it is my wish and prayer that we all remain faithful in the ways of the Eternal. May the Lord bless us. Asterisk Equinox, day in which daylight has the same duration as night.